Okay, hi guys. This will be Vlogmas day 22. And so I did my sit down video. I up, sorry, I uploaded my sit down video, my California haul, which was kind of late. Um, and I said I'm just going to do sit down videos. So today is kind of a version of that. It's just not like a full glam, big camera set up sit down video. I am organizing this room and I got this idea to put this on camera as kind of a vlogmas vlog day because I watched Miss 408 California 408. Hi doll. She just got a brand new medium to large Chanel classic flap and she had sold a few bags to acquire that bag she said and when she when I was listening to the story, I love her stories. I love stories. Like if people have a whole story to tell of how they got the bag, I love that. And I was listening to her and she at one point she was saying that she just looked at her bag collection or her collection and it was really anxiety provoking and she just felt overwhelmed and nothing was cohesive, like it wasn't it was too many of the same like and as she was saying it, I was just like, oh, I know that feeling so well. I remember when I did, it was my biggest ever vlog sale back in a little cottage house when I, when I sold like a lot of monogram stuff. So my Stressor PM and my um, Delightful GM. Oh, I'm, I'm not wearing my rings, by the way. Sorry, I'm cleaning them. And... I remember that vlog sale and just putting it all together and I just was having so much anxiety and I remember that feeling. So when she was saying it, I was just like, I want to talk about this on a vlog style, sit down, organize the video because that is what I am doing. Obviously, you just saw that haul that I put up. So I have new items. I've acquired a lot of items this year. 2017 was massive. I did not project it to be massive. I'm going to be honest with you and say that was not the budget for this year. And you guys know if you watched my luxury uh, afford how I afford luxury video, I said what I do and structurally kind of what I do. Well, this year went outside of the budget. So I have a little bit to <laughs> pay myself back. I understand that feeling that she had. So I am saying... I am going to set up for another vlog sale. I had already mentioned a few items, so we have a little batch sitting here, that I had decided I'm going to part with, especially because I've just done that haul and the California trip was so massive, so stay tuned for a vlog sale. Look, we just, that's how we're rolling. I do want to show you this first in this video. So, these are the little fashion file packs that Sarah and the girls put together for me and all my subbies who came to the meet and greets in little gift bags and they were in this little container and they were just so darn cute and I wanted to show you what was in them because I want to use something. So these were the two leather care uh, products which are actual fashion file leather care uh, creams and serum. So it's really, really nice and I've read through them and I've you can see I've used a bit of one. But they are them. I always link any of the products that I feature from Fashion File below. There were two of their little uh, pencils with the hot pink rubber on the end. They are really cute. There was this little compact mirror with their Fashion File uh, logo on it. So it's a double-sided mirror. And this was the last, it's got their little confetti and this was the last thing in here and this is what I wanted to show you. It is one of the phone grips but it has the Fashion File emblem on it. So, so there it is. Here's my phone. I've just taken off my Gucci Marmont case which I am obsessed and in love with. I can't put it down. Yes, I've had a few people contact me about my Louis Vuitton trunk case. Obviously, obviously amazing. And I was gifted that uh, from Fashion File, as you know, if you saw those videos. It is not an everyday case. I will say that Gucci one is much more of an everyday case for a designer phone case or phone shell. The Vuitton one isn't. It is 
incredibly heavy. I have a one and a half year old. I can imagine when my baby's older, then Rex. Oh no, the neighbor's dog got out. Does that mean I have to chase him? Right, let's chase Rex, hang on. <gasps> Ooh, sorry about that. Just having pet problems. Not my pet, my neighbor's pet. Okay, so I have this clear, uh, uh, just a clear silicone case that I picked up from Target. And I'm gonna put the little pop, pop pocket on. So I guess you sort of measure where you'd like to hold it. I'd probably like to hold it in the middle. Okay, I, I've struggled and <laughs> succeeded on getting it on the back of my phone. I've never ever seen one of these pop clip things before, but it sits flat and then you just accordion it out and it's on like a rubber. So it's kind of movable, like it moves around and it can twist. And then it's just on a double sided uh, kind of sticky pad and you can just pull it off, off your phone case. I would suggest getting a clear one of these like I have. Um, this was $6 from Target. And then you can hold, it helps you hold your phone. Oh, cute! That should be helpful until Mussy finds it and pulls it off. Oh, cute, you can hold your phone and text. Okay, I get it. So you don't drop your phone, cute. Cute invention, whoever invented that is probably loaded. Alrighty, I'm gonna sort this. My process for sorting this room is that I'm gonna take every single thing out, lay it on this floor, itemize it basically, look it over and see what I am doing basically. So I'm not really talking. I might find some funky music maybe to overlay on top of this, but that is what I'm going to do. You guys can hang out with me while I do that. just want to stop and say look what I am going to get out I'm going to use this I'm going to use this this week like I'm going to pack this up now I just took my jumbo off this is my medium to large very vintage look how dimpled and um, the unpuffed the quilting is my very vintage medium to large double flap Chanel in the lambskin first ever Chanel bag. I didn't part with this in my last vlog sale and I'm going to use it today. Okay. To try and <laughs> to try to try and uh let's say not get overwhelmed. I have left there's SLGs in these two pigeonholes and then there is Toiletries upstairs and I know that for a fact because they're always on my uh, console table Whew. So to not get overwhelmed I've said to myself right I'm just going to do this room today There are a couple of shawls back there, but that's not all my shawls or my belts. That's one belt but to just go over all of you know what's going on in this room so far to just declutter the pigeonholes, I might move Franziska. This is Franziska. 
my brother had a girlfriend named Franziska and she's beautiful so I named my bodice Franziska after her and so many people ask me if this is a dress I swear I get so many questions this is a piece of Chantilly lace this is a piece of Chantilly lace that is simply draped on this bodice. I started my fashion label in a fashion college doing couturier, which is draping. And then I made, you know, formal dresses for my friends and stuff. Hence the reason Jerusha Couture, because that's what couturier is. Hot couture is to hand make clothes, uh, you know, high end clothes. So if you look close, this is all pinned onto this bodice, all of it, none of it. I mean, I could hand sew this together and make this a dress, but it is just a piece of Chantilly lace um, with a little rosette that I've put on the front myself, but that's it. But I might move her. She's in a very awkward position. She keeps getting hit by the door and start again. I've definitely decided boxes will go up on top of the uh, pigeonholes. These pigeonhole cabinets are super famous from Ikea. They have the four set and then this is the eight. And then I think there's one bigger than this as well. I'm not quite sure. I was gonna get another one of these to put in this room so that I could kind of recreate. Remember in the beach house when I had everything behind me, but I've decided I like the open space of this room. So I don't wanna close it off anymore. overall view of what I have done so far as you can see Franziska is no longer behind the door uh, I moved her into the other room I haven't actually organized those boxes but they're up there uh, you can just sort of see what the main thing is is behind the bags yeah it's nice to display the boxes and stuff behind the bags like say the minis but it became a little bit cluttered, meaning there was stuff in those bags, receipts or, you know, dust bags. I feel like I'm kind of getting a little bit more of what I want it to look like. So just having, say, the bags in the pigeonholes themselves and, yeah, mixture between shoes and whatnot. And then we've just got, still got a lot going on down here and then I've got to do the SLGs there at the moment. This little pile here is what's kind of happening for the vlog sale to begin with. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Uh, but yeah, so that's it at the moment. A lot more needs to be done. 
and um, but as I said I am using this wow has not been pulled out for a hot minute okay guys uh, it is starting to get a little bit darker here I have been in here for a little while had a break had some lunch and come back I just gave you a little look around to see what I've done so far I still have to empty out um, the SOGs down here but it's going okay I love this I did want to sit down and do a proper sit down video and a chit chat with you guys about sort of anxiety towards your luxury items especially handbags that overwhelming feeling that it's just becoming too much too many bags and you know you know using them and I should be using them and I it, it's it's kind of hard to explain it is definitely anxiety and it's overwhelmingness but it's just that feeling of just going oh my god it's too much so therefore it's not enjoyable does that make sense you start to not enjoy your items or not love the bags that you bought because you're not really paying them atten equal attention per se and it just feels not only wasteful because it's a lot of money but yeah just really overwhelming so I would love to do a sit down video about it because I think it's a big deal especially in the Lux community I feel as though you know we encourage each other and we influence each other and influence other people out there and you don't really think about your purchases if it's going to work for you whatever you're just like yeah I need it and you don't consider necessarily why you need it you just want it uh, and then it becomes overwhelming so onlookers such as viewers, not necessarily subbies, but just people that view. They think, oh my god, you bought it and now you're selling it. Like how stupid. Or you just buy it to do a video and then you sell it. But that's not the case. Firstly, I've spoken about that before. It's definitely not the case. But that's not the case when you just get overwhelmed and then you need to almost declutter, thin out your collection and just almost come down to a very minimalist collection and then only sort of buy in uh, you know increments of really loving something so when you do feel overwhelmed this sort of situation is really good i don't necessarily feel overwhelmed with my collection right now i love everything i have i just there's things that are not getting used it's always good to do vlog sales when it's not getting used send it to a home that will use it girl someone else will use it and love it and give it a nice home so anyway i thought this was a good vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of vlog today a lot different to my regular vlogs but i enjoy that i like mixing up the content as well and i hope you guys enjoy it i will see you in tomorrow's video bye guys